Okay, so continuation tayo ng break-even calculations. And meron tayo dito ng illustration. Illustration, multiple product break-even calculations. So last time ang ginawa natin is single product um, break-even calculations. Ngayon gagawin naman natin is multiple product break-even calculations. A company sells product A, B, and C. Data about the three products are as follows. So, yung last topic natin is single product. Meaning, isang product lang yung involved sa problem. Ngayon naman, multiple product. So, more than one product yung involved sa problem. So, kagaya nito, merong product A, product B, and product C. So, merong tatlong products na involved. Ang requirement is, kukumpute natin yung the company's break-even point in pesos and the company's break-even point in units is, so break-even calculations pa rin tayo ng pesos in in pesos and in units. Multiple product. Question number one, the company's break-even point in pesos is? So, determine natin yung break-even points in pesos. Last topic natin, natutunan natin ang formula in determining the break-even point in pesos, single product. Break-even point in pesos is equal to fixed cost divided by CM ratio. So, ibig sabihin lang nun, kapag single product, ito yung formula. Pero ito kasi, multiple product break-even calculation. So, ibig sabihin, hindi natin pwede gamitin itong formula na ito. Pag multiple product, ang formula to determine the break-even point in pesos ay ganun pa din naman, total fixed cost pa din yung numerator and yung denominator since multiple product siya kailangan nating i-determine yung weighted average CM ratio yung di naman halos nagkaiba yung formula nila Kapag single product, CM ratio lang yung denominator. CM ratio lang ng single product. Kapag multiple product na yung involved, the CM ratio must be the weighted average. Okay, given yung selling price ng product ABC, given din yung variable cost per unit, therefore, pag pinag-minus natin yan, makukuha natin yung contribution margin per unit ng product A, B, and C, which is 40, 30, and 10. Given then yung sales in units niya, so total sales ng product A is 1,000 units, 2,000 units naman sa product B, 5,000 units sa product C. Total sales in units is 8,000. And total fixed cost is 100, 1,680. Gagawin natin, kukumpitin natin yung break-even point in pesos using itong formula. Fixed cost divided by weighted average CM ratio. So, paano natin determine yung weighted average CM ratio? Dahil yan yung given na hindi available. Available naman kasi yung fixed cost. Okay, magkukumpit muna tayo ng weighted average contribution margin ratio. Sa pagkukumpute ng weighted average contribution ratio, no? kailangan natin i-consider yung contribution margin ng bawat product. So, lalagay natin dito yung um, we have A, B, and C. Then yung total contribution margin. So, ito yung contribution margin ng product A. Contribution margin per unit is 40 pesos per unit times 
the sales in units ng product A, which is 1,000 units. Therefore, contribution margin per unit, ah, sorry, total contribution margin ng product A is 40,000. 40,000. So, product B, ang contribution margin per unit ng product B is 30. Times number of sales in units, 2,000. That is 60,000. Ayan. Product C, 10 pesos per unit times number of sales in units is 5,000. Therefore, contribution margin ng product C is 50,000. Okay. Total contribution margin ng product A, B, and C, 40,000 plus 60,000 plus 50,000 equals 150,000 pesos. Okay, how to compute the CM ratio? CM ratio is equal to contribution margin divided by sales. So, so since na ang ginagawa natin is weighted average CM ratio, kailangan din nating compute yung total sales. So, ko consider natin yung sales per product sales product A 100 pesos selling price times number of units sold or sales in units 1000 that is 100,000 pesos product B 120 times Sales in units, 2,000. That is 240,000 pesos. Product C, 50 times 5,000. That is 250,000 pesos. Total sales ay 100,000 plus 240 plus 250 equals 590,000 pesos. Okay, meron na tayong data ng total contribution margin. May data na rin tayo ng total sales. So, compute na natin yung weighted average CM ratio. To compute the weighted average weighted average CM ratio is equal to total contribution margin divided by total sales okay 150,000 is the total contribution margin total sales is 590,000 pesos therefore weighted average contribution margin ratio is 25. 42% so yan ay rounded to 2 decimal places break even point in pesos so kumpitin na natin ang kanyang break even point uh, dito na lang break even point in ah, sorry pesos Ayan. So, break even point in pesos is equal to fixed cost 
over weighted average CM ratio. Total fixed cost is uh, ito 101,680 101,680 divided by weighted average contribution margin ratio which is ito yung pinumpit natin kanina 25.42% Therefore, break-even point in pesos is 400,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin nun, para maka-achieve ng zero profit kailangan niyang mag-generate ng total sales in pesos na 400,000 pesos.